They're still going. They must be deciding the stage. Oh, there's some serious counterfeiting going on. You don't have to think that hard about it. Just don't go to Smash it. Oh, you kept me in suspense there. You put one, then you put one. I know. It's like... <laughs> we'll go play them then. Alright. Five. 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 Yes. Alright, so he's going green mark. He's going uh, ally phase. I prefer a red ally phase mark. I uh, think I'm the enemy of all mankind. Play light green mark. That's a pretty good mark. Isn't that Roy mark? Is what they call that? I'm not really sure. Like, I'm pretty sure most costumes actually do have reference, but I just kind of don't see them because I don't think it's a But, however, uh, a green and a red outfit are definitely indicative of enemy phase units and ally phase units. Ally phase being the, the your people on your team, or in some cases just villagers, that you make their own moves and you have no control over them, but they're not hostile towards you. That's all that's important. And they usually give you good shit when you uh, rescue them and save them or don't let them die, you know? <laughs> Stuff like that. I hear a really strange noise coming from my right, left, my left, I remember, my directional sense. It's almost as good as my directional influence. <laughs> anyway, the buzz of Shoyo James is looking like, oh wait, what the fuck? What? Shoyo James won game two, even though he was down 100%. That's a pretty good ditty call. That is Mr. Sue out for gay. Oh, look at him. Oh god, he's so good. Look at the way he ditties. Anyway, we're going back to the other match where, uh, Ragic lost his stock. But, uh, hmm, <clears throat> Bailey definitely looking a little worse for wear. Yes! Okay. Um, <laughs> I'm afraid I don't know what to say about that. I didn't know where to do that. Like, I don't have, I don't have the blood to spare to scream and shout. Somebody please, like, overreact to that for me. Because he definitely just died to the back hit of the slash off the top. And I don't know what to make of that. Well, I apologize that I could not emphasize how stupid that was any greater than I am currently, but come on, man, what the hell was that shit? Anyway, this is good to do. I like to So we're pretty much even. Razia is discovering that Dancing Blade is a very good tool for punishing and killing sheep, but it also has the timing window of a bad quick time event. I can't really figure out why. Because you, if you, you know there are certain moves that only work when you press the button again, like Cloud Cross Slash. You can, you can beat your face on the B button and it will finish the cross slash for you. But, like, the the timing on Dancing Blade is about as finicky as Mark is of a fine gentleman. Which is to say very. It's very difficult to do that properly. The props to Leo every time he gets it. Props to Twitch chat for thinking it's not hard either. Because they're always right. That's why they're in Twitch chat and not a courtesy. Am I right? Am I right, Jeremy? Anyway, enough shit talking. Let's jump back here. Would have killed if this was the first iteration of this game. But if it was the first iteration of this game, we would not be seeing Mark being used. That was an unfortunate trade with Bouncing Fish. Okay. I like the idea. He tried to get over the Bouncing Fish with Dolphin Slash. Unfortunately for him. Or maybe he tried to actually just straight up beat it. One or the other. Either way, as you can see, it ended up resulting in a trade that was unfavorable to say the least. What do you have to say about that, co-commentator? Well, I think it was a good backer. Thanks, co-commentator. You do credit to your team. Literally everyone is playing. Fuck. There you go, someone sat down. Hello. Welcome to the show on Greenland! He's green, so he blends in. It's harder to hit things that are well camouflaged. I learned that in the army. Oh, though, that's really scary. Wait, he had no jump? I thought he was trying. I'm unfortunate. A very bad start. I don't know what I'm doing here. It's fine, just... Yeah, yeah. You just got attacked. It's... Pay attention. What's happening? You said nice back there, though. You're gone. I don't know what's happening. Yes, you hit the guy. You the game. Just say stuff like, yeah, you hit him. Just act like you know what you're doing. Yeah, that's what most commentators do. <laughs> Dolphin slides another weird-ass angle thing. Whoa, wait. Oh, you hit him. Alright. Alright, this is what I, this is exactly the kind of shit I expect. Straight up special attack. Whoa. The neutral the side neutral special! <laughs> That's not a real technique, don't listen to me. Oh, he's okay, he has enough drift. Oh he had his jump, never mind. I thought he was gonna rely on his drift to snap wedge. Oh goodness, that could have been the end of the game too. 
Alright, pushing him to the edge of the stage. Very lax approach here. Counter. Counter? I don't think Counter can actually counter that fish. That was an ambitious ice smash. Hit his book at all I said. He's definitely afraid of uh, she doing something on stage with those counters. Dolphin slash up shield. Counter? You gotta be aware of Cheek's angles. If she's at an angle where she is unable to hold down to go above the ledge, it's not you're not losing anything by going by a, to a ledge drop double jump down. If you hit it, Cheek's dead. I gotta say though, uh, considering how unfortunate the first stock was, he brought it back pretty well. Yeah. He just needs to take the stock, and then he can <laughs> definitely rage mine. I'll drop oh, shield oh, right oh, next time. Oh, he's up in the middle. Oh, there's a big left to Well, he's still going to be in the Yeah, okay. Nice no, fine. Sour and air, though. I do expect I mean, she the... Gets I expect Probably a change. Mark is gonna go down. Oh, there's the toss. You can look at him and toss. And I, I, I do all filled up again. I expect a change to uh, Lucy here though. Because he seems to be I can't believe two hundred five. Pretty good move. Yeah. Alright, doesn't give him what he wants. Oh, but he has to jump on stage. Mm -hmm. Oh but he burns his battle fish early. Oh, but there's okay. the late bouncy fish connecting oh, yeah. at 155. Oh, wow. Again. That is 2-0, yep, for Galo. So we'll probably see a switch to the less. Never mind, never mind. He truly believes his space is on point. We just need to kill Sheik. Okay, but it's hard to hit Sheik in oh, general. Let alone with precise hit shots. This is what surgery is. That's a lot of percent. Oh, that's bad. It's really scary to burn your resources against this character. Unless you have a reliable upkeep that can take you anywhere in the world. Right, for one second, you already at 28%. What happened? Oh, Sheik. now he's at 70. Oh my god. Sheik, oh my. Sheik gets the a lot of hits. Beginning the already 74%. She gets a lot of hits for small damage. Oh, that could have killed him. Oh, he has no jump. But he's okay. Uh, Balo is not on the time with his, uh, his catches there. I don't actually know how Ratsy racked up 61%. It kind of felt like he was just getting bad dollars for him. But that is definitely a good percent to be at considering he... I thought, I thought Balo was cheap. He is. Oh, he had... Oh, he had it! Oh, he had it! I respect the hell out of that. Because other times that's... Oh, he rolled into it! But he finished He finished the dancing blade anyway. He accidentally rolled into it. Oh, that guy wouldn't have killed. So, you know, oh, that was such a brave challenge. <laughs> oh, there's another vanish. Smacking him with the end box. But... He's not going to get... Yeah. Down throw. Up throw won't kill yet. It's very rage heavy. The throws only do 4%. So the best option is usually down throw for positioning. But hope oh, he goes over the down throw. Oh, you gotta be careful. Oh, Sour Backer doesn't kill even with the Smash Charge. You gotta be careful of bouncing fish on the stage against Sheik because, especially in Balo's case, we like to bounce off the wall to do a delayed bouncing fish. But it's much more uh, difficult to dodge. But he's only really consistent of doing it on uh, Dreamland because of how big the side of the wall is. Most stages are too short for him to risk it. So let's keep that in mind when you're choosing your tri flight against uh, Sheik. Dreamland, however, is, you know, it's small, so you can kill Sheik earlier. Uh, and Sheik doesn't really... she probably doesn't care as much before it, because Sheik usually gets her killed with early Kims. And the game is even again, right? Pretty much, yep. Yeah. He grabbed them out of the, uh, end leg of the down beat. Side beat. Downward angle side beat, sorry. I mean, I thought about it, and I thought about it. There is a lot of down tilt being used, but very little down tilt connected. The moves that seem to be hitting the most are the Nair on the last hit, but no spacing. Or no tipper. Sorry. It might be... It's unfortunate. It's the way she works is she hits you so much that you are forced... You are put... You are put not in the lead. Simply put. And you have to approach. Razzie's game plan is usually watching his opponent's approach, so when it comes to him to make the approach, they lose a little bit all over it. Hmm. He also has to get his recognition down on the, the confirming the side beat. The swinging, the swinging too much of it can be an issue sometimes. 
So this is definitely doable in this percent range. Oh, he didn't go for the bounce because she wasn't confident it was going to hit. There's the jab, just tell him to fuck off. Yeah, he has to approach, but he's fighting difficulty and what options work. He's not tomahawking anything either, he's favoring just a sword. Uh oh. Good challenge. He's got, no, he's got nothing to fear. Oh, good. That was a good mix up. But now he has to play. Oh, he's not dead. Oh, he's dead. He got the eye mix up. Rough. Oh, great. 